Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, unfortunately for farmers and ranchers out here in the West, more reversals to Trump era rollbacks could be coming for the Endangered Species Act, strengthening protections, they say, for species. And that's because the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and NOAA Fisheries are proposing to restore protections under the ESA in honor of the 50th anniversary of the act. Now there are a couple proposed rules between the two agencies that regard interagency cooperation including species classification as well as critical habitat designations. And they say a third proposed rule by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service addresses protections given to species listed as endangered. Regardless, the news comes as states like Montana and Wyoming continue to work hard to remove grizzly bears off of the endangered species list. In some other news, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, renewable diesel isn't just the hottest biofuel on the market these days. It's also swiping a significant slice of corn ethanol share of the renewable fuel standard. EPA's new biofuel usage targets or renewable volume obligations for 2023 through 2025 project strong growth for biomass-based diesel, which includes conventional biodiesel as well as renewable diesel and stagnating sales of corn ethanol. Now the overall RVO for this year is nearly 21 billion ethanol equivalent gallons. That grows to $21.5 billion next year and $22.3 billion in 2025, with virtually all of that increase coming in the form of renewable diesel. Certainly some excellent news for farmers across our region who are raising canola, camelina, and of course, soybeans. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.